Welcome to Stewart Arts, it's Jimmy, and today we're going to talk about workshop stools. Kind of a big coincidence that uh, for Christmas this year, uh, my daughter Kelly uh, decided to buy me a, a stool for the shop. And what's interesting about that is that I had never mentioned it, and I hadn't even really started looking, but I was sort of thinking I wanted another one. Uh, so she got me this nice Craftsman, and I'll talk about this one here in a minute, but first I thought I'd show you the other ones that I already have here in the shop. Whee! This one's a, a nice old antique. I got that at the flea market. This thing's probably made in the 1930s or so. I painted that uh, logo for the shop. And I uh, used this one here for assembly and close work. Uh, I've been uh, most recently working on the Mystery Automaton uh, with this one. I got this uh, auto supply stool, that's another flea market find, it's got a nice cushion on it. It's comfortable. And so this is one that kind of stays here. I, I seem to use the drill press probably as much or more than any other tool in the shop. This is number three. It's an old kitchen stool, another flea market find. I gave 10 bucks for that. It has a little ladder on the bottom of it, which is kind of nice when I need to reach something up high. And uh, I find this to be the perfect height uh, for my mini mill here. And uh, so that's, uh, that one stays here uh, pretty much all the time. From time to time, I'll work at this bench. And I wanted the uh, fourth stool to kind of go uh, into this area to be a floater for this bench, uh, but also uh, this workstation, which includes the two mini lathes. So uh, this actually is a perfect addition uh, to the shop. I couldn't actually find this in the Sears catalog, but the bottom of it says that it's a bar stool product ID 49860. And uh, it's a pretty simple construction here. Uh, it came uh, disassembled. Uh, these uh, legs uh, were all separate. And then you have the square uh, bar that retains the whole thing. And then there were the pieces associated with the seat. So I'll start with uh, the seat. The seat, there's no assembly really that's required. You have these uh, little turn screws here, and so you just loosen those things up, put the bracket in there. Uh, the bracket just inserts into the bottom of the backrest here, and uh, this went together real nice and easy. It really it took just a couple of seconds to do, no big deal. Uh, looking at uh, the, the bottom part of it, this is where the assembly came in. Uh, there were a total of eight fasteners that came with the package. Uh, there were four here that uh, screw the legs to, I'll call it this header plate here. It uses a, uh, a hex nut that's got a nylon locking feature to it. Uh, so they included this tool and they included this little tiny metal wrench which is not to be taken seriously. So I threw that away and I use an adjustable wrench uh, to install these. Here, here's the bottom of it. Uh, and uh, you just put a, an adjustable wrench on that and screw it down with uh, the uh, Allen key that's provided and it tightens right up. I like the nylon locking nut. I don't think this is something that's ever gonna loosen up. I would have expected this to be a lock washer design which can loosen over time, but these nylon nuts, I think, uh, are gonna stay tight for a long time. Uh, and then there are four fasteners that are similar, uh, but not identical, uh, to attach the legs to the frame here. And uh, this is a, I call it a countersink uh, screw here, machine screw. It's got a Phillips head top to it. And uh, this little wrench that's provided here has the Phillips head tool on it. However, uh, that's really difficult to use. Uh, it doesn't, you don't have the opportunity to put much torque on this with this small thing and with the nylon locking nut there is a fair amount of torque that's needed to fasten uh, that nut so i wouldn't use that i just just you know, get out a regular screwdriver for that and that's what i did and i had the bottom together in minutes so the whole thing took me maybe 15 minutes 10 minutes to 15 minutes uh, to assemble no big deal just a few words on the functions of the stool. It does uh, swivel back and forth, uh, which is a very nice glide. It is, uh, the seat sits on a nylon button. I wish I'd uh, captured that before I put it together, but once you put this thing together, the seat and the post are kind of a friction fit with this uh, base here. And the first time you put it all together, and the first time you sit on it, it kind of locks it all together. So I tried to get it apart and uh, 
I, I'm afraid I'm going to hurt it if I do that, so I'm not going to try to do that. Uh, there's a little uh, lever on the side here, and you can use that to adjust the height. Uh, it goes up quite high. Uh, I'm 6'4", and uh, the highest position is too high for me, so I'll be using this kind of uh, in the middle here. Uh, now, the description of this stool says that this is a hydraulic stool, and uh, so it does have some type of a sealed uh, dash pot uh, mechanism in here. And I, technically it may be hydraulic, but I would call it pneumatic. I can tell by the sponginess of it, it's probably compressed air uh, that, that operates this. And I do know that from my own life experience, over time, the seals are gonna give up, uh, sliding surfaces will wear out the O-rings and so forth, and uh, eventually it'll fail. <clears throat> but if it does, it'll just go to the lowest position, uh, which I think will still be comfortable for just about anybody. So. I have no issues uh, with that, and uh, even at the bottom position, it continues to swivel and will be very comfortable and useful. So I think in general, uh, the design features of this thing are gonna be quite acceptable for my uses. Just want to give a personal thank you to Kelly uh, for buying this thing for me. We always uh, tease each other about having ESP in the family, and I, I kid you not, I've never mentioned this, never said that I wanted one of these, but you bought this for me and it is uh, very uh, well received and I appreciate uh, the thought and uh, thank you very much. That's all I had to say today. I hope everybody uh, enjoyed this video. If you're not a subscriber, I sure hope you'll consider becoming a subscriber. I try to do a video or two every week, sometimes more. So uh, have a nice day and a happy new year. Whee!